If you think about thermal plants and how are they designed, and as early as 10 years ago, these plants were designed to be base loaded and no one really expected the disruption of renewables to happen so fast. But the reality is, is that renewables have come in, penetrated the market faster than we thought was possible, and significantly disrupted the utilization of traditional thermal plants and really put downward pressure on profitability and O&M costs. The control room today hasn't changed much in the past decade. And yet with all the challenges you have, what we find is that utilities are really struggling to get that right person with the right skill set at the right time in order for plants to achieve their new mission. And so, okay, utilities, as a result of all of this, are starting to think about how do we change this paradigm? So we see that there's cross-training going on between operators and maintenance. We see a lot more combined cycle sites going to have remote start and stop capabilities, but sometimes lack visibility. We see that remote operating centers, which are already fully operating wind, wind farms today, we're looking to have the expansion of thermal plants, but there's a certain amount of constraints around that today. We're seeing this challenge and this need for digital solutions to come in to enable this leaner workforce to be able to do more and also to empower all of these workers to collaborate more. So we see this need for remote operations capabilities in the organization today.